as of recently, I've been experimenting with some Lost Film castings, and the pores have been a little bit too cold. But here was my solution. This bad boy here will help me read the temperatures. At a whopping $55, I'm pretty sure I could afford it, because it saved me a lot of problems. Generally, I've been finding at $750 or higher is where you're supposed to pour the aluminum. Now, this thing comes with all these little wires here, and they don't really work with it. They only go up to 100 or 200 degrees. This here, this is a solution. Well, my solution. And you're probably wondering how it works. These two different types of metal at the tip feed back a voltage to the reader, and then it's converted. Now, one of the problems I experienced with it was the connector fitting into the machine, and this was my solution. For about $10 for five of them, I could hook up a wire to the K-type sensor, and I was off to the races. It's as simple as a plus and minus wire, and a plus and minus wire, and then it'll read your voltage. I don't remember if the big or the small prong is the plus and minus. While I was searching around for all the information for you, I got on the internet, yes, and I found something else that might be a lot easier for $26 Canadian. This one here that I have, the insulation's cracking off every time I put it in. Let's test out what I do have and see how it works. Now the metal I have here is aluminum, of course, and it's running at about 755, 760. I found that I had to let it sit in there for about five seconds before I got a proper reading. Now you see me give it a flick here. Now, I had to be really careful because it is molten aluminum, but I wanted to flick off the aluminum on the end of it, so it wasn't a problem. After a couple minutes, I threw it back in and I got a little bit lower of a reading. I think I'm going to throw it back in the furnace, heat it up a little bit more before I pour it. This pour, by the way, turned out fantastic and I'm quite happy with it. I pretty much got the aluminum figured out. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next video.